Let's start with tattoos. Historically, Qatar Airways had a strict no-tattoo policy, but recent changes under the new CEO have shifted their stance. Candidates are now accepted with tattoos as long as they are not visible in the white areas as shown on the screen. This is a significant change and makes Qatar a more appealing option for many applicants. In contrast, both Emirates and Etihad have also adopted more lenient policies regarding tattoos. Similar to Qatar, these airlines will accept candidates with tattoos that are not visible in the areas marked white, so make sure you check your placements carefully. Now let's talk about scars. Among these three airlines, Qatar Airways is the most stringent. Many candidates have faced elimination for even the tiniest scars they weren't aware they had. While Emirates and Etihad do check for scars, they are generally more relaxed about minor imperfections. If you have scars, you might want to consider applying to Emirates or Etihad as your chances of acceptance are higher. And please, when declaring your scars and tattoos, be smart about it. For scars, only declare the scars that are visible in uniform. Do not declare unnecessary scars that are not visible in uniform, as this will limit your chance of progressing to the next stage. For those concerned about scars, laser treatment is a highly effective option. Laser therapy works by targeting the pigmentation in scars and promoting skin regeneration. It involves several sessions, but many applicants have reported noticeable improvements. Additionally, scar removal creams can also help. Consistency is key. If you start using a reputable cream, you may see changes in just a few weeks. Now let's move on to some essential tips for dressing and punctuality during your interviews. Always wear professional, well-fitted clothing. For men, a tailored suit is ideal. Women should opt for a smart dress or a skirt suit that is appropriate and not overly revealing. Pay attention to grooming. For men, please ensure you have a neat haircut and polished shoes to create a positive first impression. For ladies, your makeup should be flawless but not too much, and please bring your powder for touch-ups. About your hair, you can choose braids, but tie them in a bun like you would do with your natural hair. Remember, the bun should be a low bun. Keep accessories minimal and elegant. This includes avoiding flashy jewelry that might distract from your overall appearance. Familiarize yourself with the airline's uniform. If possible, wear colors or styles that align with their branding to show your enthusiasm. About punctuality, please arrive early. In aviation, we say if you are on time, you are late. So please aim to arrive at least 15 to 30 minutes early to allow for any unforeseen delays. Whether you're driving or using public transport, plan your route ahead of time. Check for any potential traffic or delays. Ensure all necessary documents are organized and ready to present, so you can focus on making a great impression. Do not forget to carry your passport photo, your updated CV in English and your ID or passport. I also highly recommend you have these documents on your phone too, including your highest education certificate. During the assessment, please do not be on your phone. Remember, you are being watched and judged based on your behavior, and you never know when you are being watched. So please, instead of being on your phone, interact with the other applicants. You don't necessarily need to know each other. Initiate conversations, just talk about anything. Another important tip, please work on how to answer the interview questions. Do not give the obvious answers. For instance, why do you want to become a cabin crew? Do not give this lame answer of, I want to become a cabin crew because it is my childhood dream. No, don't do that. Talk about your passion for teamwork, customer service, or any other related skill set. I have done a video on commonly asked interview questions and sample answers, so please make sure to watch it. I will tag the video in the description box. And please remember, how you answer these questions also plays a huge role. So please don't answer as if you are reading from somewhere. In summary, when applying to Emirates, Qatar Airways or Etihad, understanding their policies on scars and tattoos is crucial. Always dress to impress and arrive punctually. And in case no one has ever told you, I want to tell you I believe in you, and I know you have all it takes to become a flight attendant with your dream airline. Remember, countless others have walked this path and achieved their dreams, so can you. Stay focused, keep preparing, and don't forget to apply what you've learned today.